ensures everyone who's meant to stay quiet stays quiet. Make transporting your prisoners that a little more tolerable with Silent Time Capsules. It's as easy as one, two, yes please. And this week for one week only, buy two capsules, get one capsule free. It's free. Kind of. It's free. Hello there, welcome back. That's right, Red Brick Radio is back on the air. I'm back in the air. We have had some major antenna issues, but we're back up and running, and we're bigger and better than ever. We can now broadcast as far as you can imagine. So welcome back. And that show, of course, as you already heard, is sponsored by the lovely people at Silent Time Capsules. Now, everybody needs one of those little capsules, don't they? And as you heard on the advertisement, this week only, buy two, get one free. That's buy two, get one free. But seeing as we have not been long in getting here, we have got to get some messages out there. So we had some messages from listeners who seen the red blimp in the air last night. And here are some of them. Ed Eagle says, Red Lights 1, we see you and feel it's time to change. Follow the star for more guidance. There you go. What can that mean? Boy one says, Rook to Pawn Three. Now, the blue lady says to the man with the green cross, Please look for the flickering window and follow the fire escape up. You will be lonely no more. Oh, these are getting very interesting. If you have a cryptic message for someone in the wasteland, please call it in. Captain Blackbeard says a heat wave is coming. If you don't want to get a tan, get out of downtown Florida. Well, you can't get more serious than that. No, but anyway, now some news coming from the wasteland. The Campbelltown Posse have kidnapped Princess Ashina of the Trevor Sector and are holding her hostage. She is not thought to be in any danger, though a small lady-like severed hand was found near the scene of the kidnapping. <laughs> but anyway, good news for anyone on the road, the levels of toxicity in the air have dropped to an all-time low of 53.5%, and leading experts say they will continue to fall as the winter winds pick up. Now isn't that just lovely? The man's watches have been executed and the gray wall substantially lays unmanned, meaning of course that anyone wanting to travel from the cold land to Death Bay can now do so through the Mets Pass. But you better all be quick. You know it won't be long till someone else holds up in there. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, I'm right. Anyway, Al's Meat Hut now has real meat back in, so they are fully open for business once again. Spiral Jack is doing a special on contract killing this week, and is doing if you buy one contract, he'll give you another one completely free. You can't get better than that, ladies and gentlemen. You cannot get better than that. The space station Eden 1 will be visible from a brief period tonight at around 2.30 a.m. So you can nip outside and gaze up at the great unknown and imagine you're one of those lucky fellows on the Eden that escaped this hellhole. Cause you had lots of money and who knows, they might be staring back down at you as they're smoking their big cigars and drinking fresh water. 
Anyway, sad news from the veil today. As word came in that Tommy D, that little funny mutant kid, has died. Tommy was attempting to take some rancid meat from a oh, from a wild dog when the the dog attacked him. Oh my God, that's terrible. All Lucas said he didn't suffer long as the entire ordeal only lasted about two hours. So that's not so bad. Anyway, tomorrow's death match in the Black Yard will go ahead as planned despite a raid from the new lawfuls. Early this morning, Max, Max Adams was killed in the scuffle, so big Bane Armstrong will step in to his place. Excellent. But Bane Armstrong, you gotta love that guy. Anyway, the Sway Hawk Farm is looking for new workers, and Chairman Clem Steins says 30 oppositions have recently opened up. These will all be full time positions, and applicants will be expected to be able to work eight days a week. Oh, and here's one we forgot to read. On the last show, a huge fire has ripped through the Square Hawk Farm, killing at least 31 people. We're awaiting more information. We'll keep you updated. The Order of the Run are doing an organized march on Friday in Newtown. The Church of Odin are expected to try and disturb the march, but guests, the guests will see that. But if you have, uh, where am I? If you have an observation drone, I would get it down there. There's about to be plenty of bloodshed, and most definitely be worth the watch. Well, wasn't that good to get back on the air, eh? A little bit of news for everyone. And how are you liking my background music? Yeah. We picked up a few extra workers here since we've been, uh, you know, doing some refurbs. And one of them seems a bit dab hand with some of this radio equipment. So I guess we'll be getting on and up. On and up. That is correct. But anyway, how are you doing? How are you surviving in the wasteland, eh? You still alive? Well, good for you. Good for you, I tell you. It's always good to stay alive in the wasteland. What's this weather all about, eh? It isn't half raining, but word on the street is it's actually pretty drinkable. So there you go, so that's a good thing. Every cloud and all that. Well, we're currently flying over Florida, so I guess we'll see what happens. We're anchored down at the minute, actually, because the winds are picking up pretty high, so we're going to have to come down for the night. But I'm going to leave you for a little advertisement break now, so I'll see you all after the break. Drink tap water, feeling sad, drink tap water, feeling hungry but can't afford food, drink tap water, your local government provide all the medicinal and nutritional supplements you need and add it directly to the tap water, so staying alive is as easy as turning on the tap, live long, drink tap water, thank you now. Tap water may contain chlorine, chloride, antidepressants, graphene oxide, LCP38, and LCP22. There is no scientific evidence that tap water is good for you. This is brought to you by the Human X Corporation. <laughs> Yes, indeed, that gentleman on there, he sounded like a handsome devil. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna nip down to ground level very shortly, where we have our good friend, Ed on the ground, that's Ed, who's on the ground, and he is gonna tell us exactly what's happening down there, if we can get the signal correct, that is. I know last year we had a lot, a lot of problems, but I'm hoping this time will be very different. So, Ed, can you hear me? And if you can, come in, Ed. 
because we're running out of tape here and we gotta tape the shows, you know, we gotta make some money somehow. <laughs> anyway, until next time, my lovely people, this is Red Blimp Radio, over and out, stay safe y'all.